Hello everyone and welcome to the Funkit Pod and it's whatever day of the week you're watching this or listening to this and it's time for some MMA talk and this week is going to be quite short because let's be honest not much happened well yes something happened for the fighters but it wasn't a pay-per-view with lots of implications at least UFC wise all the other promotions I have no clue what happened because all your media coverage output sucks no matter if it's PFL Bellator or one championship one championship puts out lots of content but also lots of content that they're just reusing all the freaking time sorry one championship I understand I I'm in digital marketing I understand that you're reusing content that makes sense but not the same stuff over and over and over again if I see another Alan Dani no offense I just can't pronounce it um, split or something that you've posted a thousand times I'm gonna really be mad so um yeah, that's why. So, the UFC heavy today, uh, f- like, fi- I was about to say five minutes, but I just watched Chel Sonnen on uh, Morning Combat the other day when he was sitting down with, with, with Luke Campbell, uh, Luke Campbell, Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. <laughs> they don't just take each other's names anyways. They're like a married couple anyways, talking about erection problems and stuff like this. Oh. And Luke Thomas of all people, it wasn't even it wasn't even BC who brought it up. Like I mean, BC brought up like how how excited he was uh, ab- about Chael um, Anderson too, and then Luke jumped on the erection <laughs> and just couldn't let it go anymore. <laughs> That's <the laughs> ah, th- uh, that could sound weird. I realize, but it was weird. So <laughs> let's let's move on. So Chael Chael actually said that. Um, once you reach a certain amount of views and subscribers on YouTube, you get like um, a phone call with a real person and they help you to then game optimize for the algorithm. And they told him that apparently videos that are like eight minutes are the best. And they're uploading like, was it like five videos per day, per week. I forgot. <laughs> per week doesn't sound that much. It feels like Chell uploads like five videos per day. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he said like they told him like eight minutes was was, was kind of like the, the sweet spot. So we only have five minutes to go. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not there yet. Um, yet. I mentioned Chell Sonnen a few more times just to get a few more clicks for people who like Chell Sonnen. Chell Sonnen. Chell Sonnen, by the way, did a great job hosting the press conference. When it comes to and now now okay, I stopped with the, with with the jokes. But when it comes to utilizing media, again, from someone who works in the media, like I should do this also, media prof reacts to UFC or something. From someone who works in the media industry and who analyzes things and who studies the media industry and media theories and whatnot, and I don't know how much Chair looked into it, <laughs> look into it, um, he does a great job. And I'm again, I'm not sure like if it's him, if it's his people, they do the research on like how to maximize the algorithm, how to like engage the audience, how, how to structure the content, how to start with a bold premise, then just talk for seven minutes and then have a have a, an, a, a teaser kind of conclusion uh, or like something that people are really gonna talk about. So I'm not sure if he came up with this by himself, if he did some research into it, if he read into it. Or like, whatever he did, it makes complete sense. Also from a media theories point of view. So, Chell, if you're watching this or listening to this, I, I'm sure you do. Um, great job. Um, you'd get an A in my class. <laughs> uh, so that, that that works very well. Now, or well doesn't work very well. <laughs> Smooth transitions are also very important for podcasts. What doesn't work very well is um, the Chell model for everybody else, especially for active fighters. And I talk about this all the time. And now I, I'm, I mean, we just had a fight night, and we had Cory Sanhagen versus uh, Song Yadong. And no, please, um, it's only Americans who make like those Yadong jokes. By the way, it's not funny. It's really not funny. Um, so they're both great fighters, right? Both exciting fighters. Like Sanhagen came out a bit more, bit more calculated, like more snipery. Um, he s- he said it like he that's what he learned from his last defeat that he has to play the game 
um, score points, not necessarily always go for the knockout. So yeah, okay, fair enough. But still exciting fighter. Yadong <laughs> packs of a punch. Uh, exciting fighter. No one knows them, right? I mean, we know them. We're like MMA fans, but outside of the, the, the MMA hardcore community, ask someone who knows John Jones, who knows Conor McGregor, they don't know Corey St. Hagen or Song Yedong. And that's sad, and that should change. And if they would take a page out of Chell's book, don't copy it one by one. You don't have the time, of course, you're active fighters, but just a little bit, just, just a little bit. And maybe the UFC could help them there. Uh, they could feature those, the content of their fighters on their social platforms a little bit more, I think. And it wouldn't hurt them. Then UFC has user-generated content from their fighters, just highlight it and then just repost it. What Ro what Rogan does at times, like repost from, I did don't see the UFC doing that. I think if they would do that, that would help the fighters, would boost the fighters, they would get better deals, sponsor sponsorship for their gyms or whatever, um, would benefit everybody probably. Uh, so I think that would be something to do. Li Jing Niang blew up in the MA community. I think he should utilize on that. I said it last time, and I don't see him doing it just yet. His posts are getting, a he's posting a bit more, a bit funnier, I think, as well. But I think they could they could do more, and the, the UFC could highlight this a little bit more, I think. So my, my one criticism with the UFC in this case would be, highlight your fighters a bit more like the stuff that they're putting out like for example one championship does it very well like there are a few fighters who are very good at social media amir khan from singapore is maybe even better at social media than at fighting no i didn't say that but <laughs> please don't kick my ass amir khan i know you're just over there so please don't do it <laughs> um but he's doing lots of like i think tiktok or reels with his wife girlfriend i think the wife could say i think they have children they must be married right <laughs> joke but i think they're married um and they're doing lots of like fun fun reels and then one championship reposts that all the time which makes sense right less work for the one championship social media team do doesn't need to produce anything give some cloud to the fighter everybody's happy and they're doing the same thing with us like they if mighty mouse posts something fun one championship reposts it and so on so why doesn't the ufc do that i think so that would be something the ufc could be doing so do it um, other than that, yeah, so same same with like the co main event, right? Uh, GD, GD Bang Bang <laughs> and DC found that so funny. He, 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 he calls himself GD, GD Bang Bang. <laughs> okay, DC, great you're having fun there. Um, but yeah, so 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 Bang Bang uh, and uh, Robocop, right? No one knows them, and they have a war, and the, the fights before were wars or insane knockouts but no one knows i bet not even not even lots of loyal ufc followers knew them before do something about it <laughs> ufc you can help them why don't you help them i know why but help them and if the ufc doesn't do it then help yourself <laughs> like create content put it out there collaborate like Triple C is very good at that with the collaboration. He collaborates with everyone. He had Chael on there too. Had Chael review like his cringiest moments. Then he's doing stuff with 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 the Schmo. Of course, he's doing stuff with whatever. Um, he's he's very with Mike Tyson. He's very good at it. Like Triple C is great at collaborating. So props to him for collaborating and networking. Smart moves. Uh, so do that. Like if, if you are a fighter, it would be nice if the UFC would do it, but you can't wait for it. So create content. Do it. Do it. And if you need help, and if you need some, I don't know, someone to push in the right direction, yeah, it's a long shot. But <laughs> let us know. Seriously, um, I'm I'm really sad to see like fighters who put on like awesome shows, just not getting getting the accolades for it. So do it. And then know so people like Sandhagen, they say like, I only focus on my martial arts journey, which is great, and I that's what I want to hear. But then have someone else filming you, doing stuff, talking to you, putting out some quotes, whatever. You don't need to do it by yourself, but let people help you and put out some content, man. Just You can't do this forever. You want to be set up once once you have to be done. Yeah. Okay, some 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 serious words here. <laughs> um, last thing for this, and do we actually over eight minutes? Who we made it? Jay will be proud of us. <laughs> last thing for today is, now don't cheat. What's the next fight? What's the next... What's which fight is next week in the UFC? What's the, what's the main event? Exactly, you don't know. 
how in the world don't we know what's the next main event this coming week in the biggest fight promotion in the world? It's Mackenzie Dern versus Jan. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and no one knows about it. I had to go to the website to check out like what's the next the next fight. What? You see seriously. Like if you don't care about your fighters and don't then don't put on shows every week. Like that, that's really annoying. Like if you put on shows, promote them, give them the spotlight they deserve. Like seriously. Uh, then there's another fight night a week after, also no one knows probably about it. And then we have the the, the next pay per view in Abu Dhabi. So yeah, you can see I'm a bit upset today with how the UFC treats their fighters in terms of like promotion and so on. Oh no, I turn into Ariel. Oh my God, we stopped the podcast right here before I before I go like. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but I do see the point. I hope you see the point as well. And uh, next time I'll be I'll be more cheery again. And next time I will preview uh, one championship for you because one championship on Prime Two is coming up. Uh, end of September, so next week I'll break down the card and let you know who to wa who to watch out for, what to expect, and so on. Uh, also, one championship announced a, uh, a mixed rules fight again be between Stan Fairtex, which is like a Muay Thai superstar, but I think who transitioned into MMA now and also did quite well there so far. Lost to Angela Lee in the in the Grand Prix final, but until then did c surprisingly well also on the ground. Uh, so Stan Fairtex will fight against Anissa Maxson, who, who Maxson, Maxson, I don't know, Anissa, who is like a, a decorated um, Muay Thai fighter, striker, kickboxer. Um, I don't see the appeal there as much because Stamp is a decorated Muay Thai fighter, a former Muay Thai champion. She held the cha the titles in one championship in Muay Thai and kickboxing and now it's going for MMA. So that's completely in her wheelhouse. So if she's like one round of kickboxing, she's like, yeah, sure, why not? I don't care. I don't see I don't see Anita Maxson having having lots of um, advantages over Stamp in the stand-up game to be honest, but let's see. Um, maybe one championship is like we have we those mixed rules fights are awesome right now. People like it. People talk about it. Case in point. That's why they're doing it. Okay, so but more one championship then next week. Detailed breakdown of the upcoming fight card one on Amazon Prime two. Until then, as always. Subscribe, like, share, rate us to so we can reach a bigger audience than Triple C or Chael. And as always, stay safe, take care, keep your guard up. Sawadee Kap.